Hello. Actually, I wondered why I am speaking now and not in Science for Life. Probably, a lot of people still does not consider genetics a science, something like of witchcraft with some kind of fashionable flavor performed by not always very honest guys. And in a sense, we do have something to do with fortune tellers and, you know, fortune tellers, which is card readers, uh, intimidated people, and people were scared by them, scared by fairy tales from Brothers Grimm's. But nobody today is scared of these things, and so, but people need to be scared all the time. So here we are, genetists, who are scaring people. So you can say you are intelligent people, you are not scared of genetics, okay? Try genetically modified tomato. <laughs> Take care, it contains genes. Uh, as a person being involved in genetics for more than 20 years, I can assure you that genetics are simple. If a child looks like a father, it's formal genetics. If a child looks like a neighbor, it's influence of environment. <laughs> it's not a joke. And clearly, we all are some kind of compromise from the genes which inherit and influence environment. And actually the most difficult thing, and actually the only difficult thing in genetics, is to distinguish where genes finished and environment starts or vice versa. As we learned, God does not play dice. God plays cards. Our genes are shuffled and dealt like a cards. And sometimes you have a strong hand and sometimes poor hand, meaning you have some mutations. And um, diversity of deals, of course, provides diversity of us and it provides for a diversity of different predispositions. For example, diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, cancers, and so on. And then, in some hands, you have just one card, which spoils the particular deal, and you cannot basically play anything. And this, what maybe we can call in clinical medical genetics as delirious mutation. So such a mutation will, instead of predisposition, turn into predetermination. For example, average woman in Europe has 9-10% lifetime risk of acquiring breast cancer. Unfortunately, a person who is carrying a particular mutation in some gene has this risk 80% and almost inescapable. Now, even in this relatively small audience, it's a fair bet to make that at least one of here present persons is carrying such a mutation. So, but it's not enough that you all are mutants. Nothing personal, I'm also mutant. <laughs> Our cells are acquiring more and more mutations during division. It's just like not perfect Gutenberg machine. Every time our DNA gets replicated, it acquires new mutations and carries old mutations, and it makes all our cells a bit different in a sense of fitness, in a sense of the universe where they are living, meaning into us. And our cells are selfish. They do not very much care about us. 
they try to be fit to get more oxygen, which we breathe, more foodies, which we eat, or more, I don't know, coffee, wine, whatever. And of course, so fitness of our cells and our body is starting to uh, diverse because they acquire different mutations. And at this point, small, evil Charles Darwin start working in us. And the best fitting cells are starting to proliferate with the highest speed. And which means that our best cells turns into our worst enemy. Cells proliferating out of control is a cancer. So, and clearly we don't know when we, or if we, already have cancer or not. We can put a date of our birth, and nowadays this is more precisely, my grandfather didn't know precisely, had plus minus a year. We probably uh, can put some time of conception, and we can put a time of diagnosis. But clearly, we cannot say when one or few of cells accidentally acquired such a mutation, which is already started avalanche of invisible events leading to a cancer. Now, basically, it means that if you or anybody else is living a long, nice, healthy life, at the end of the life, you will be rewarded by a cancer. Cancer is basically inescapable. Now, of course, these are cards which we are keeping in our hand and which we inherit, but for those who are familiar with bridge, we have a partner, dummy, who puts a card on the table and we can choose to improve our hand, this is environment. And the choice of these cards to choose a precise card fitting our cards. This is the art of doing. Uh, some years ago, two years maybe ago, I was speaking on radio about cancer, and then I get the phone call, and an elderly man said, why do companies specifically put a substance into shampoo which causes a cancer? So he was looking for something Cause. I said, okay, maybe at first stop smoking, stop running on red light, and then maybe we will come back to your shampoo. The guy was not lazy. He called me back on the radio, I mean, in 10 minutes and said, you know, we were in cancer ward, four people, and only three people were smokers. Now, and you are speaking about smoking. Tell better about shampoo. So I will not tell you about shampoo. I will show you some choices. Of course, I said cancer is escapable, which is not exactly true. If you go from childhood three times a day to fast food joint and eat pommies hamburgers, and then you get hypercholesteremia or something which sounds equally nice before tender age of 37, no chance for cancer. So 23.4% of eight years old, first class pupils are either overweight or obese. Smart kids, eat fast, die young. <laughs> now, I said about, so some unlucky people who have this mutation, which predetermines them basically to breast or ovarian cancer. Now, there are not many things you can do but one of the most effective is to avoid or delay it is risk-reducing surgery, meaning it's mastectomy, and I'm speaking, or overectomy, about young, bright, healthy women who go for this surgery. It may look quite a difficult choice, but trust me, not so very much, because in some countries, up to 60% of such affected healthy women do this. Now, I said that on average, women in Europe has 10%, 9% lifetime risk of getting breast cancer. This risk can be 
reduced twofold if you deliver three or more children first before 25 years. This is much more difficult choice because only 8% of families in Latvia and something like that in Europe have three and more kids. Actually, big farmers are now thinking about drugs imitating pregnancy without delivery. This is not a joke. There is no such drug as yet, but this is considered option. Welcome to the new brave world. We are already there. Now, and the most difficult choice. Now, lung respiratory cancers are caused only almost, okay, I will be conservative, friendly to smokers. About 95% are smokers. So, if you don't smoke, or at least you give up smoking, you reduce your probability to get lung cancer very seriously, but it's a very difficult choice. During 12 previous months, only 2.1% of smokers in Europe gave up. So now, I learned to play cards before I learned to read, that's true. And which means that you have to estimate in cool mind what you have in your hand. If you are brave enough, you can make genetic tests. They are now quite good, and they are not anymore so expensive and getting cheaper and cheaper. And then you estimate your chances. And the important thing is that you don't drop aces and use false arguments because card game is a game of cool mind. And last, and but not the least, genetics incline, they do not compel. The game is in your hands. Thank you for your time.